Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pawfology. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. I'm here at my house in Virginia, and I'm going to show you some of my mom's plants. My mom is right here. She doesn't want to be in the vlog, understandably, but I'm going to show you some of her plants that she has just on the patio right here, and then maybe we'll go down below and look at the garden below. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet, so maybe there's a bunch more stuff down there. And there's some stuff in the woods over there. I think some uh, pumpkins and melons, maybe. I don't know. So, okay, let me show you some plants. So here's some morning glories. That's, I guess that's what they're called. Then here is just some succulents. These are the succulents that my mom bought. Oh, look at that deer, guys. That deer over here eating my mom's plants. I know she's going to be mad about that. <laughs> That, so my, my house has a lot of animals and deer and stuff like that. Okay, these succulents she got from Kroger. She couldn't uh, she couldn't uh, restrain herself instead of buying one. I think they were 25 cents. Is that what it was? 50 cents or something. And she bought a ton of them. So she has many different types. And then over here she has a strawberry plant or maybe more than one. But there's a strawberry. There's the little strawberries right there. There's a nice strawberry. Sure, she's excited to eat that. Here's some plants. I don't know what they are. Here's some lettuce. Oh, are these these are radishes or beets? Is that beet? Yeah, some beets, some lettuce, and then some dill. That really is that a, that's a giant dill, right? So that's a that's a giant. That's the biggest dill weed I've seen. Whatever it's called. So there's some dill. There's some basil. Whatever else parsley then more succulents and here's an avocado plant that my mom planted or avocado seed that my mom planted it's done pretty well so and then there's some more stuff over here she loves her plants there's some aloe i think we have a ton of aloe around the house just different plants so that's what's on the uh on the porch my mom told me that this is her good avocado plant it doesn't have bugs on it and she hasn't had to worry about it too much. But this, lemon. oh, this is a, lem a lemon tree. This is right here? Uh -huh. That's a lemon tree. Wow, okay, that's cool. Yeah, so that's a lemon tree. That's her good avocado plant. And this is her bad avocado plant. She's been having to debug it and baby it a lot. So, but there's the seed. Did you just get that from an avocado? My mom literally just took that from an avocado pit, planted it. So, interesting. So that's, that's up here. Okay, we're gonna go down and look at some of her garden outside. But here's my yard. It's it's a very beautiful, uh, it's it's like a, we're circled by trees, okay? So um, literally it's a, it's a circle of pine trees and you can sit out here and listen to them sway, especially on a windy day. They sway back and forth. And later tonight, I'll bring on my telescope if the clouds will let me and we'll look into the sky. So it's, it's really beautiful out here. So I'm about to show you all the plants that you can eat that my mom has planted. Uh, she has some around the house and some behind the house and I think some in the woods, but uh, let's just get started. Also, it's 90 degrees out here, so I might be sweaty. Um, here is the pumpkin, the first pumpkin plant. Yeah, she planted them right there. It's really funny because they'll get really big. This this pumpkin plant will just grow like crazy. And then these are some melons that she tried to plant. She, they're not doing well. She doesn't think they'll survive. But she has more melons. Here's more of the woods down here. Um, down there, my mom planted at one point some corn. But I really think she just threw some melons down there just to see what will happen. And the, the deer that I might have shown you already was eating these lilies right here. They love the lilies and they've been eating them every day. So they're, that's why they're dead. <laughs> um, but here is a lemon cucumber plant. There's no cucumber on it, I don't think. And um, then here is a Swiss char, Swiss char plant. Here's some kale, but the bugs have been eating them. So, but the bugs have not touched the Swiss char. I guess why eat the Swiss char when you have kale? And um, 
okay, here's the rest of the garden. You, uh, my mom has stuff planted in between these lilacs. So these are lilac bushes. They're called dwarf lilac bushes, and they'll never get higher than wh where they are now. And they have a kind of a bright purple, eh, well, I guess like dark purple flower. So it's really pretty and it's really interesting. They don't get higher than that. So she's had them for a couple years and that's how high they get. It's pretty convenient. I know sometimes lilac bushes can take over a garden. There's more of that, that yellow uh, plant back there is that lemon cucumber. I forget what that is, but my mom just told me. Um, don't know what that is. I think that's just, oh, I think this is a, a melon of some form or squash. Oh, that's squash right there. And I don't see any squash yet on it, but it will be there soon. There, that yellow flower as well as squash, squash. Um, that is a jalapeno pepper. There's two jalapeno peppers. And, oh, you know what? Actually, that one right there, not that you could tell, really, but that is a, um, I think that's a green bean plant right there. And then here's my mom's tomatoes. She has, looks like she has three tomato plants going on. Pretty big. I don't know if she has any tomatoes on there now. I think she's been picking them off and eating them. Oh, there's some green ones. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but maybe you can. Maybe. Uh, I'm not doing a great job at this, but there's some tomatoes. And then here is a green pepper plant. And that is a jalapeno plant. So that is, a that is the garden as far as things you can eat. And I think there's some strawberry plants right here. So some, oh, there's a tomato plant and she has a lot of stuff. Dang. And then I think there's some elephant. Oh, there's more tomato plants in there. That's hilarious. So a ton of tomato plants over there. Some herbs. I see some thyme in there. Thyme. Wow. Dang, Mom. Got a ton of stuff happening. And then these are just... land. This is just landscaping over here. So some bushes. I thought my mom planted some rose bushes at some point. So, but yeah. That's a, that is my mom's garden. I know she loves it. She loves planting stuff. She has, she also has plants inside that are, she grows it in that miracle grow. You know what I mean? With the light and she just grows stuff inside. So normally uh, she'll start a plant in her miracle grow and then bring it outside. Or um, sometimes she'll just grow everything like in the miracle grow or do, uh, what's it called? where it's just the roots are in the water. So very interesting. I remember she did, she had a, a ton of those plants where they just grew in, or tomato plants that just grew in buckets. Very interesting of just water, really big tomatoes. So, but yeah, my mom has, a, has this net up right now because it's just the best way at the moment to prevent the deer from eating everything that she has planted. So, but every day, every day they come out. I think, I think they lie over in those trees right there. So yeah, very nice. Very pretty. There's my, there's my, uh, dad's old camper. It's really nice inside actually, even though it looks kind of bad on the outside, it's actually pretty nice. He's kept, he's kept it really well. So but hey, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be home. Um, I I love being home. Who doesn't? I love the fresh air. I love... Oh, I got a scratch. I think a bug's on me. I love the fresh air. I love the the sunshine. It just smells completely different. It's It's amazing. So, you know, ticks, though, are pretty bad this year. So I got to be cautious of all the ticks that are here. So... But yeah, that's what's happening. I can hear some homes being built a couple miles away. But for the most part, you can hear a bunch of birds chirping, bugs buzzing around, butterflies are out doing their butterfly thing. 
Very nice. It's very nice. My trip was good. I didn't film that much of the airport. I just, it was not interesting. I also got up at 5 a.m. and I just did not feel like filming. Like the Destin, okay, that Destin airport, there's nothing in there. I mean, it's super small. You just go in, literally, it's it's just mega small. You walk through security, boom, you're at your gate. That's it. There's a Dunkin's Donuts and some local place. So nothing there. I went to Nashville. Um, Nashville, I, you know, I was really surprised that Nashville also doesn't really have that many interesting food items at Nashville or at the airport. I would expect a little bit, a uh, little bit better of a selection, but who goes to airports for the food? I rate an airport though on their food court. So yeah, but it was good. I, j I was only at the Nashville airport for like 20 minutes. I got off the plane immediately went over to the boarding section and they were like, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, start boarding in 10 minutes. So here's a really nice butterfly. I forget what they're called. These are called, but it's a yellow, a yellow wing butterfly. It's probably like a mo monarch. Maybe you see it. Hello butterfly. It's so pretty. It has a like some blue at the bottom of it. Maybe that's a moth. Oh, that's a moth. How funny. But it's a really pretty moth. My mom surprised me by making my favorite cake. It's a red velvet cake. So here's the cake part. It's homemade. It's made out of this cookbook. And um, here is the recipe. So we've made red velvet cake a lot, as you can see my fingerprints and my mom's fingerprints from probably when we were, when I was a, a kid and hers. Okay, everyone who's made red velvet cake from this book just touches the page for whatever reason. And um, there it is. Oh, here it's right here actually. So here's the red velvet cake and I love this fluff frosting. It's amazing, especially when it gets cold. It's ridiculous. So it's just, uh, you make a roux a roux, is that what it's called? Uh, one cup of milk, one fourth of flour. You know, you, you heat that up, let it cool. Then you put in one cup of sugar, half a cup of shortening, half a cup of butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla, and you beat it till it's fluffy. Comes out amazing. You do gotta let it cool down though. Make it cold, put it in the fridge. Tastes amazing. If you're still watching this, comment down below, uh, fluff, fluff, from this fluff frosting. F-L-U-F-F. -F. What's your favorite type of icing? Do you like cream cheese? Do you like chocolate icing? Do you like fluff icing, frosting, if you've ever had it, vanilla? I would say my favorite is this frosting or the icing you get on cookie cakes, specifically the brand Anchor. The only reason I know that is because I uh, saw the decorator for my favorite cookie shop purchasing anchor icing by that five gallon bucket and I just have remembered it forever. So, okay, I'm gonna go. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. So my mom, as you already know, really likes plants. And she has this uh, plant rack light system that she uses in the winter for some of her uh, more delicate plants. And so here it is. She has a five rack system with all lights on it. So there's these growing lights on it, I think. I think these are for her succulents and random stuff. Oh, it's not plugged in. But it's just grow lights. I think she has a timer. There's a little timer block on it. How funny. So she keeps them random places. I think this might be in the garage sometimes. It just depends. So here's something kind of interesting. My mom's been making sprouted broccoli. So you might have seen sprouts at Jimmy John's or wherever you eat sprouts. I don't know, some fancy salad place. So there's some sprouts or broccoli seeds and they're semi-sprouting. She's had them in there for like a day. Well, eventually, now these are frozen, so it's going to look kind of weird. Eventually they turn into this, you know, it looks like sprouts. These are obviously, they look a little odd because, you know, they're frozen, but they turn into this and apparently uh, they're more potent broccoli, you know you know what I mean? Like more vitamins in it than broccoli and stuff like that. So she's been eating that for a while or using that for a while. I found, I found that to be really interesting. I don't know if you can see, but the deer love my parents' house. There's one. 
There's one, and I'm sure there's another one out behind them. So they're just eating all the grass. There's a bird eating some of the seeds or whatever they're eating. I don't know if they're eating grass, but they're eating something. There's the corporate. There they are. They're running away. They know they're not supposed to be over here. Oh, I hear another one over there. They're getting away from their brothers and sisters. So you gotta come back. And then there's another animal, a bird, right here. Nesting away on its eggs. This one's kind of mean. Granted, it is a mama protecting, you know, her babies. So I think she's been there a couple weeks now or three weeks. She'll probably, I don't know how long she'll be there, but uh, she's watching me. I think if I stayed out here longer, she would just fly away or uh, fly towards me. So, also I think my dog just found out I'm, at, I'm outside. My mom has these Granny Smith apples. She's gonna throw it in the compost that she has outside. Oh, there's some more compost. So she's making a compost, she has a compost pile not making one she has one she has a compost pile over there do any of you do compost piles vitamix has a composter that they're trying to sell for four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars i think maybe i think it's that expensive i saw it like a year ago i don't know i think they're still selling it so here's the telescope it's a dobson um sky quest i think it's a eight TX or something like that. It's fairly nice and you can um, see a few of the planets when you look at it through it. And so this week I hope to, uh, you know, look through it. I got a few different lenses. It's really fun to look at the telescope, but here it is. It's pretty tall. I think it's like, I don't know, four feet, four and a half feet. So yeah, it's awesome. Do any of you have a telescope? Do any of you have a telescope? Do you like telescopes? Are you even able to use a telescope uh, where you're at? I, I would imagine a lot of people cannot even get the full benefit. You'd probably have to drive far out away from a uh, light to use it correctly. But you know, I don't know, maybe you do. Maybe you live somewhere that is, you can use it often. So I couldn't use it in ND very well. I mean, I could see the moon. The moon's fairly bright though. So, but I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that telescope sometime this, uh, this week. And maybe I'll be able to put some of the pictures up on the vlog. Sometimes you can put your camera right up to the lens and see it, see the moon, at least for the moon. So, but I've seen, uh, a bunch of planets through it. It's really cool. I've seen, I've seen Saturn and its rings. I've seen, obviously I've seen Mars, Jupiter, and the moon and some stars, you know, so it's always fun to do it. You know, the only bad thing is you really have to work hard to know where, like where to point the telescope at because I don't have a computer system on this telescope that I can just dial in the numbers and it just, the coordinates and it just point to exactly where that star is. Um, that would be convenient. But I use the app, like I use a sky view or something and I can just point my phone up to the sky and it tells you exactly where the stars are or where Jupiter is or Saturn or whatever. So, yeah. Okay, I think that's all for today. So I'm gonna go. Uh, you'll see a lot more of my house and the apartment, I mean the apartment, my house and the city um, over the next few days. Um, I, hope to, I hope to give you a taste of how, where I grew up a little bit, maybe make some memories, mainly make some memories for me, kind of recording some of the stuff that I, I don't know, did growing up or like some memories at a certain place. So that's what I anticipate this to be. Also, if you hear bells, my dad is doing something outside and the, the chime system, whatever it's called, Amazon uh, cameras keep going off. So, okay, I will uh, see you in a bit. I'll see you tomorrow 
If no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here. I am gonna go get a slice of my mom's red velvet cake that she made me and uh, I'm gonna have a great night. Do some homework, just relax. I think it's gonna be good. I hope you have a good night as well or a good morning or a good day, whatever you, whenever you watch this. I'll see you later, bye.